like what they refer to as a chad which is supposed to be like the ideal romanticized version of a man okay then you are fucked and they tell you that it's over for you and i'm here to tell you that not only is it not over for you if you're not that attractive but you can still have the sexual life and romantic life of your wildest dreams What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to be going over black pill. If you aren't familiar with black pill, it's the philosophy that all that matters is looks, that there is no game, there is no strategy or tactics based on looks. If you're not born with model looks, or if you don't look like what they refer to as a chad, which is supposed to be like the ideal romanticized version of a man, okay, then you are fucked. And they tell you that it's over for you. And I'm here to tell you that not only is it not over for you if you're not that attractive, but you can still have the sexual life and romantic life of your wildest dreams, regardless of how you look. I don't say looks don't matter, but I'm going to put this all into context in the course of this video. Okay, so this is going to be really, really exciting. I urge you to stick with me to the end because I'm going to reveal a bunch of really important information about this subject. A lot of guys go down this rabbit hole. I screenshotted a comment from a YouTube live yesterday. Someone said, to be honest, without John Anthony, I probably would have blown my brains out already. I was seriously losing all hope in the game, and it's the one thing in life that I want the most. I help guys like this every single day, telling them they don't need to give up. That's a bunch of bullshit ideologies, the black pill stuff. Like for instance, the creator Wee Waffles, who I've actively spoken out against in multiple videos, he puts out all these poisonous videos with face ratings, talking, critiquing guys' jawlines, facial symmetry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it leads guys to be depressed, to be suicidal, some turn violent. Guys get extremely frustrated, hopeless, wallowing in despair. They don't know what to do. They're lonely, that they don't have any chance at all in dating. Now, had I encountered this in high school, I would have probably been fucked. I probably never would have went and tried to bang girls. I was the shyest kid in my high school out of 700 different people. I feel like it is my duty on some level to go forth and tell you that this ideology is complete bullshit. Okay, not just because I say so, not just because I have that opinion. Over the past 10 years of coaching, I've been teaching for literally over 10 years now. I've had lots of clients that by definition are very average looking. You know, a bunch more even below average looking. How does that factor into the equation? Women are attracted to survival and replication value. They have hardwired attraction switches. Okay, They are attracted to a leader of men, to a protector of loved ones, to a guy that has a thrilling or adventurous life. Okay, They're attracted to pre-selection if they see another how female has approved of you, a guy that is willing to emote and put forth a range of emotions. Okay, Women are attracted to all those things. Survival and replication value. My best estimates based on all the different girls I've talked to, several hundred about this topic and all the research that I've done, is that looks is about 10 to 20 percent of the equation. The vast majority of the equation is going to be your strategy and your, and your tactics. And you might be thinking, oh, that's stupid. The good looking guys have it easy. I've had lots of really good looking clients over the years. Some of them have come to me as a virgin, even tall. Like I had a guy recently that was a six foot five jacked tattooed virgin. Okay. And you might be thinking, how can that be the case? And I'll tell you how that's the case. Lots of times when these guys come to me, they're like, yeah, I get a little bit of initial interest, a little more initial interest up front, but then it quickly starts to fizzle out because they run out of things to say. They don't know how to sexualize. They don't know how to move things forward. If they get a number, which they usually don't because they don't know how, a lot of times they text and they fuck up their texting and then the girl stops responding or they get a date and the girl flakes. I've had good looking guys go on dates, be sitting there for two, three, four hours and the girl eventually excuses herself. They don't know how to keep the conversation going. They don't know how to stack topics. They don't know how to convey their value. They don't know how to sexualize. They don't know how to joke properly or build rapport properly. They don't know how to deal with objections. Being good looking is not a ticket to just getting tons of girls. There's still a bunch of strategic and tactical things that you must know that you need to know how to run the date, what to do when you get back home, how to close. I have good looking clients. They get the girl back home. They have no idea how to escalate properly and it goes nowhere. I have guys that will be banging chicks and then they don't keep them around because they don't know how to retain the girl properly. You you still need strategy and tactics. And luckily as guys, the girls are responding to survival and application value, which is a learned skill. You can change how you carry yourself. You can change how you present yourself. You can change your strategic and tactical approach with all the different pieces of the game all the way through the system. We are here to help you with that. We're running the best program in the industry. Prices are going up on October 31st, both for the eight week program and for boot camps. They're both going up $1,800 because the demand is growing. We are running the best program by far. You don't have to take my word for it, but look at our testimonials page. We're getting guys the most craziest results, the quickest in the industry, hands down. 
we have a proof page which details all those different success stories out. So the results are indisputable. And the reason why we're able to do that is we equip them with proper strategy and tactics. So let's say that you're like a five, okay, out of 10 physical looks wise. Let's say you're just dead in the middle average. If you were to sign up for my we program, we have you get a professional photo shoot, okay, with a photographer in your area. We're partnered with Snapper that can place a high quality photo photographer in your area in any English speaking city around the world. From there, you'll have hundreds of photos. We have a team of hot girls, okay, my girlfriend, and some other girls from around the world that you spend my rotation. They will rate your photos from one to 10 and they will pick your best five photos. Okay, so now you've gone from average photos to pro photos to your best five photos. Then we apply aesthetic upgrades to those best five photos. And now you have a night and day difference between the quality and the quantity of matches that you were getting. I will write your bio for you. Now you're going to start getting matches. There's no way around it. Even if you look like a five, you're going to have pictures now that make you look like a seven or like an eight. Are you catfishing? No. Okay, because all you're doing is just presenting the best version of yourself. These pictures really are you. They're just with a better camera and a better environment. These pictures were the best ones of your whole batch. These pictures have already been pre-selected, pre-vetted by hot women. So you're not just going in blind. Oh, I hope these work. I hope these are my best ones. You don't know what are your best ones. Hot girls do because they're the same ones that are going to be picking your profile on the app. So now you have a bunch of matches. What do I do next, John? You just plug into my online game messaging scripts. Okay, it's all done for you. So you just follow the charts and that will turn your matches into phone numbers reliably. Then you have a bunch of phone numbers. No way around it again. What do I do with the phone numbers, John? You plug into my texting scripts. You follow the flow charts there and now you're turning your matches into dates, some of which will be straight to the house. When the girl comes straight to your house, I show you how to close and now you're starting to get regular hookups. The ones that won't come straight to the house, you meet them for coffee or drinks. I show you exactly how to run the date, how to frame it for her to come back home, how to answer objections to come back home, how to move things forward, how to never run out of things to say, how to sexualize properly, how to be physical properly, how to demonstrate higher value where you should pick the date, you know, what venue, how long should you run the date, all the considerations, what are the texts where you should confirm the date the night before in the morning of, it's all done for you. So you literally went from getting a pro photo shoot and thinking that, you know, looks was the whole equation to now suddenly having packed schedule full of dates and you're getting regular hookups. Then last but not least, I show you how to keep the girls around that you want. And there's cold approach training as well, but okay, you can still get good results online if you're looking average or below average once we go through that process. And you don't need to take my word for it. We have over a thousand testimonials on the page a lot of the students that came into that program they were ready to give up there was a guy tavion who's on our proof page who came to me as a virgin he had taken pickup training with a bunch of other companies they all failed him as is usually the case because the systems caused the guy to fucking strike out he was about to turn to the black pill oh i i just can't get girls because i don't look like a model i don't look like a chat okay he was ready to just give up on dating came to my program he got laid in week one okay and he closed that girl really quick it was an online lead charts took the match to the phone number plugged into more charts took the phone number to a date girl came straight to the house closed it pretty quickly wow i didn't know it could be so easy. Nice. Got seven more over the course of two months. Eight total girls. And I remember he didn't do the retention stuff right on the first girl that he closed. You know, make sure you do this and this next time so you can keep her around. He goes, I don't care. I have four more dates set this weekend. Literally flipping the switch from scarcity to abundance. And that is why I find this job fulfilling. This was a guy that was about to give up on dating, you know, maybe resort to just watching porn and jerking off and living life on the sidelines. I know I can't help it. <laughs> oh watching other men have fun with the attractive girls, having a good time, et cetera, et cetera, enjoying their companionship. That can be you, okay? Trust me, you are not an exception, okay? I get guys even that thought they were totally hopeless. If you're like extremely, extremely, like I had one guy that was like deformed in an accident and we couldn't get him matches on Tinder, but that's like an extreme, extreme, extreme exception, okay? For the vast majority of guys, I can get you very good, very fast. Now back to the black pill discussion, it's an incredibly unproductive discussion, okay? All these looks maxing forums and these black pill videos, it's just a bunch of men deflating other men confidence. They're making fun of facial features such as jawline, symmetry, etc. They're all poking fun at each other for not looking like a Chad. And what that does is it lowers guys' self-esteem and makes them feel shitty about themselves and it puts a handicap on them so that when they go to do a cold approach or when they're trying to do online and they get a rejection, they just use something called confirmation bias in psychology where they say, oh, look, see, it's because I'm not a chat. Oh, you see, it's because I'm not a model. From what I've heard from talking to these guys is they will just give up and, and not even go try. Why would I go talk to a girl? I don't look like a model. Why would I make a Tinder profile? I don't look like a model. That's bullshit, okay? The game is not, or the, or the fucking attraction equation is not 100% looks. There's better texts to send than others. There's better ways to run interactions than others. There's better ways to run dates than others. There's better ways to set up your Tinder than others. There's better ways to message on Tinder than others. There's better ways to execute the closing at home than others. 
there's better ways to keep the girl around and others and so on and so forth i can teach you all those things okay don't let these fucking dumbasses like wheat waffles who's a 19 year old pizza delivery man in england put a fucking brick wall in front of you in front of your dating options and say hey i this 19 year old teenager in england declare that you will never date and you're like okay since he says so and everyone thought the reason why i showed that guy's face and all for the record i showed his public facebook profile with his face and his name that's it public social media profile didn't dox any fucking private information about the guy but i wanted people to see that this is a freshman in college he doesn't know shit and he's also a redhead i have no problem with that but there's a stereotype associated with redheads where sometimes they get picked on and bullied and i think that's probably where all this fucking bullshit came from oh let's raid everyone's faces and justify why the world is so cruel and why women don't like me. It's not because of your looks or because of your red hair or anything. It's because of your negative fucking attitude and keep those views to yourself. Don't go fucking pollute the world. Ends up leading to, in extreme cases, there was a guy named on, on the forums named Professor Waffles who was a big Wheat Waffles fan. He was like sliding down this depressive thing. I looked up his old Reddit post when I did a video about this. We'll put the video on the end screen actually. The dangers of where the black pill can lead. He was saying he never used to care about his looks until he found these forums and these black pill groups and then he started to really hate himself and he started to get more and more sad and depressed. Eventually he went caused a mass shooting the greatest mass shooting in the last 10 years in the uk that was professor waffles okay wheat waffles of course denies any responsibility the guy literally named himself after wheat waffles was a big fan of wheat waffles reacting to wheat waffles videos okay it's not this waffles thing isn't a coincidence i don't know for sure but it looks pretty fucking suspect that's why i actively speak out about this stuff so if you're watching this right now and you are discouraged from doing dating activities from going online dating going on the apps from doing cold approaches from going on dates because you don't look like a model hey wheat waffles rated me a three out of ten i've been banging model looking girls for over a decade doesn't matter that any later downgraded it to a two he could call me a negative infinity a negative 100 out of 10 does it fucking matter no i say ha ha <laughs> Look at that little fucking loser over in England. It sucks to be him. Don't let someone fucking shut the door on your dating life. Get on one of those free 30 minute calls. We will evaluate your situation. We'll give you a game plan, how we can start getting you laid this week, regardless of how you look. And we can get your confidence maxed out and your strategy and skill and your tactics maxed out. And you can have an incredibly fruitful and amazing and incredible dating life promise get on one of those calls because prices are going up eighteen hundred dollars on october 31st which is just a few short days away check out the end screen about the dangers the black pill can lead to but don't fucking buy into all that shit stop watching those videos it's very counterproductive it's very toxic and it's simply objectively false there's no even real debate to be had there women are responding to survival and replication value that's a fact in evolutionary biology now you know okay this isn't just my opinion versus theirs like i said i've had tons and tons and tons of average and below averaging looking clients bang hot girls and have an abundance of girls in their dating life okay you can be the same you're not an exception most people don't look like models you don't need to and you can do far better than a guy that looks like a model once you have proper strategy and tactics thank you so much please let me know what you think about this in the comments watch that video on the end screen press the like button subscribe if you have not already get rid of the black pill videos out of your feed red pill too but that'll be a separate video thank you guys so much see you on a video soon take care Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. A year at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.